Hi guys and welcome back. This is going to be a really good semester. We're going to get again to uh, Kansas history and one of the very first things that we always do whenever we start a new unit is uh, we take a look at the map and the map is going to be very important because you're going to have to know exactly where we're talking about. So the very first map that I'm going to have you guys do is label some uh, about 20-25 of the important cities within uh, the state of Kansas uh, on that map that you guys see in front of you. That map is just simply blank Kansas map showing the counties of Kansas. We'll talk about the counties later on and why those are important. Uh, but we're going to start off, the first thing will be to talk about, ju again, just those, um, those important uh, cities that are within the state. The next map that we're going to talk about will be, um, again, on pages 6 and 7 of your textbook, just as the first assignment you're going to be using um, to describe the rivers and some of those major important rivers. Um, this uh, You'll be labeling the rivers right there, answering a couple of questions. This one is actually very simple, but the uh, the rivers are very important. If you When you're labeling a lot of your cities, you're going to find that a lot of those major cities are found located right along some of those very important rivers. Um, so that'll be the second assignment. And your third and final assignment in terms of doing, labeling the maps, and although this looks very elementary, that is a map of Kansas, um, later on in your text, uh, found within chapter 1, is going to be on page uh, 20, is uh, the area known as the Kansas regions. And we're going to label, label those, uh, color code those to where you understand uh, all the regions that are found within the state of Kansas. So again, that's just going to be our first uh, assignment coming back from the break. And uh, we're going to get this uh, uh, semester started off on the right start. And we're going to have a good one. So let's look. Uh, here's to a good start to the semester and a good end to uh, your seventh grade year. Here we go.